As you can see, numerous inventions that we now use every day were created in the Middle East. This week sees the launch of a new reality TV show that hopes to spark a new era of innovation. Stars of Science is backed by the Qatar Foundation, an organization supported by the country's ruling family to promote science and education. Stan Grant went behind the scenes of the new program. If you're seeking opportunity, then this is the place to be. Think Big Brother meets Survivor with brains. This is a new look reality program. Contestants from throughout the Arab world compete to become the next great inventor or designer. Stars of Science has culled more than 5,000 applicants down to 16 finalists. It's based around innovation. They pitch their idea from inception to production. A jury of experts will decide which product will make it to the marketplace. The winner stands to take away $300,000. My topic as passion has always been using technology as a way for people to become and stay healthy. Wahib Chair is from Algeria, attending university in the United States. She thinks her idea is a winner. She's devised mobile software to help identify healthy food suitable for an individual's needs, diet or health requirements. The big picture is not labels. The big picture is helping people stay healthy, become healthy. And also there is a big issue of uh, how much, for example, what is the cost of obesity in today's economy. But Wahiba faces tough competition. Inventions and designs range from oxygen-based drinks to solar-powered desert tents. So, it all comes down to this. This is where the contestants will learn their fate. All the hard work, all the hopes and dreams, all of that collaboration, it comes down to this moment. They come through this tunnel. This is Judgment Day. These are the judges, a three-member jury. Dr Sadek Faris, an engineer from Libya. Science and technology does not discriminate against race or gender. That the Arabs are as capable as anybody in rising to become serious contributor. Dr. Mona Zaki, a marketing consultant from Egypt. I found uh, a great spirit, spirit of uh, unity, sp uh, inspiration. I'm really impressed by the candidates coming from different countries in the Arab world and just uniting on something very precious, which is science and technology. And William Sawaya, a world-renowned designer from Lebanon. Everybody is so hot about it. I mean, they speak about uh, uh, new forms, about designs, about new representation of, of the ideas, of the concept into, form, into shapes. And this is really uh, uh, encouraging me. Each contestant must pitch their idea to the jury. Over 10 weeks, projects will be eliminated. That contestant must then support one of the remaining contestants. Finally, two teams remain, pitching two ideas for the final pot of gold. Stars of Science is a first for the Arab world. The show's executive producer, Sabine Sersok, says it is a reminder that the Arab world was once a leader in science and technology and can be again. We're seeing a young generation uh, working, thriving to achieve something, but also know, getting to know each other and getting to accept each other's ideas and cultures. And I think uh, we are succeeding at that for the moment. Wahiba Chair, like all the other contestants here, knows stars of science could be the key to her future. What happens here is only just the beginning. Winning is after the program. It's what you do with it that matters. Stan Grant, CNN, Doha, Qatar. That looks like a lot of fun. And that's it for this edition of CNN Marketplace Middle East. I'm John Defterius. Thanks for watching.